New at 10, the Dacusville community continues to mourn the loss of one of their own. Today, they released those balloons you see and lit candles in honor of Kelsey Merck. Kelsey was tragically killed in a car accident Saturday. She was 12 years old. And today, Kelsey was laid to rest. Her family saying they were moved to see how many neighbors showed up to say their goodbyes. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy was at tonight's vigil, and she joins us live in studio now. Lots of emotion there, as you can imagine. This family is simply devastated. One by one, they went around in a circle and shared their favorite memories of Kelsey. There were tears, of course, but also laughter. Family saying that's what she was best at, making people smile. The Merck family is still struggling to pick up the pieces, saying their lives have been forever changed. They describe Kelsey as a bright light, but Saturday, that light flickered out. No matter what it was she was going through, she kept a smile on her face and was always just like, she was bright, real bright, and had the whole world ahead of her. Joshua Merck is Kelsey's uncle. He was there to hold her in her final moments. He says in a lot of ways, Kelsey was more like a daughter to him, which is why he was touched to see how many people showed up to say their final goodbyes. I know for a fact that she's smiling down right now. She's looking down and she's smiling from ear to ear with them dimples just to, just to show them. One by one, friends and family took the time to sign Kelsey's casket. Another special yet emotional moment for Joshua. It took a while for me. I mean, before I ever went in there, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't hardly look in there. I didn't. I didn't want to face it really. But when I got in there and, and I got up there to write a little, a little goodbye note to her, just just kind of glancing over some of the stuff that was already on there, it was just. It was heartfelt. After she was laid to rest, everyone gathered in the Dacusville Middle School parking lot where she was a student. Together they counted to 13 and released their balloons. 13. Many there dressed in tie-dye or wearing Crocs, a final joke to honor Kelsey. She had a pair of Crocs that was the, the rainbow Crocs and the child had more shoes than any kid, you know, could, could ever wear, but that's all she wanted to wear was them rainbow Crocs. And I was the rest of Kelsey, you gonna wear them things out. She said, it's okay, we'll just go get some more. They say the church today was packed full, even strangers showing up, moved by the stories that they've heard. The family says they want Kelsey to be remembered for her smile and her ability to keep people laughing. Tori, back to you. Oh, Kayla, thank you.